so yeah. in general ledger we go in we have seen this general ledger parameters this is very yeah. important from the exam point of view uh, where in a general ledger uh, first parameter is the ledger where we saw ki whether the voucher can be uh, used duplicate one if it is not then give the command that if it is reject yeah, yeah. duplicate then it will not appear as a means it the system will not uh, take two same number of invoices if we say accept yeah. duplicates then system will take the invoice whatever may be it will not throw a validation or a warning okay yeah so oh, then we saw check continuous number if any re regarding the voucher numbers uh, check the continuous number and then we saw the interrupt in case of error account maximum penny yeah. difference maximum penny difference i told you about that the decimal difference how much you can allow I mean suppose a uh, 0.50 is there you can say ignore it take it as a next digit number or a lower digit number like this yeah. then maximum penny rounding of in a reporting currency this is about the uh, the first one is the accounting currency and other one is the reporting currency i yeah, last time i told you no like accounting currency and reporting currency difference accounting currency is the currency where i am i am having my branch where i am operating so that can yeah, exactly. my accounting currency and reporting currency is where my head office is suppose you are in australia and your head office is in us then your accounting currency will be australian dollar and your uh, uh, reporting currency will be your us dollar okay yeah then we saw the extended journal ledger you use non continuous page numbering and check journalizing then uh, regarding the project uh, allow the financial dimensions to be edited i told you about the financial dimensions also what are the financial dimensions okay, suppose uh, i am having i have purchased a laptop i have purchased 10 laptops but out of that two i will give to finance three i will give to hr department four i will give to uh, admin department so, Uh, this uh, in a system i will only enter laptop purchase i will enter i will only pass the journal entry where i have purchased a laptop that is my asset so laptop purchase account debit to bank account or a cash account but since we have already given a financial dimension in this system so in that case uh, the system what will do system will automatically bifurcate between those departments that how many people are there in the uh, financial dimension it is mentioned as two people so uh, the total cost divided by two the in hr department total cost divided by four in admin department total cost divided by three like this Be, uh, everything yeah. is set in the financial dimension only the thing is uh, you have to only enter the uh, actual journal entry that is the asset account debit and uh, your cash or bank account credit like this yeah. Yeah. this is yeah. the main role of the financial dimensions then accounting rules values for summary account means these are the means where in a in a a uh, financial statement uh, there are some balance sheet which will give a just give a summary the asset is this much liabilities are this much current asset is this much uh, non current asset is this much just like a summary they will give but some yeah. balance sheet they gives gives us the each and everything what what is in there in asset that I, in an asset i am having land and building plant and machinery laptop and everything and uh, in a liabilities i am having this this is this vendor balance and all so this this accounting rules is for whether in a financial dimension you have to give just a summary account that is the just you have to show ki okay i have allocated this much to this department this department this department or you want the person wise also means personal wise also that is in finance department two people are there for this person only it has allotted like this okay yeah 
okay so this is the main purpose of this value used for a uh, summary account then transaction reversal if if uh, any uh, transaction needs to get reversed then uh, you uh, you want a warning message ki whether the whether um, and system should show you the warning message that you are reversing a transaction or like that because sometimes it happens ki we uh, by ignorance only we click on the uh, reverse button at that time what happens ki suddenly it got reverse but whether we want such a warning message should come at least by ignorance also it, if i click on that button then it is not happening that transaction should get reversed so the yeah, yeah. warning message uh, this uh, this field is there then accounting rules to use use uh, posting this is used for the commitment accounting when we will go to the commitment accounting no we have a topic yeah. uh, there is a separate module for this commitment accounting at that time i will tell you what is what is exactly it is okay then i told yeah. you about the fiscal year close means the at the end of the year last day of the year that is the 31st march so that is delete close of year transaction during transfer means and that i told you no ki like uh, whether i um, uh, while transferring from pnl to balance sheet i want to delete all the transactions which means the pnl account is the total is the balance between my debit and credit correct no yeah. so whether i want to delete all those transaction and only transfer the amount suppose uh, i got a 100 100 rupees amount but that is includes hundred of transactions so i want to delete yeah. means what system is asking at the time of transfer whether you want to delete all those transactions hundred of transactions and only uh, only i will transfer a balance just a numeric yeah. balance to a balance sheet so nobody wants it actually if any anybody is like rigid and all they can uh, they can are uh, deleted but nobody wants to delete all those transactions correct no the system will not yeah. it. it it will be there in the system but while transferring whether you want to delete or sometimes it may happens if you click on the delete and that uh, and if you want to make any correction the transaction has already been deleted so you can't extract you can't to close uh, year and close two times it's a only yeah. one time activity so this should be cautious okay yeah. then create closing transactions during transfer means closing transactions are like closing balance opening balance uh, all those are closing transactions so uh, we we will see we will say ki okay create a closing transactions during transfer then set fiscal year mm. status to be closed yes last time i told you there are three status open on hold and close if it is open yeah. you can enter a transaction at any time mm. if it is on hold for a temporary period you you can't enter a transaction but if it is a close you can't enter a transaction but you can't open that fiscal year again yeah yeah remember exactly. i told you so yeah uh so here it, it it should be cautious that it should not be uh means unless and until everything is goes fine and your balance sheet got signed and everything till that time you should not click on this set fiscal year to be closed because once it yeah. is closed it will not open again so if you want yeah. if if suppose uh, 31st december is my last means closing year, closing date of uh, closing date of that year and uh, i want to reverse some transactions or i want to make provisions on 5th of this uh, of january then i can put 31st december on hold i will not close it i know some transaction yeah. needs to be enter so i will keep 5th uh, or till 5th of jan on hold i can't keep it as a open also because if i will keep open anybody can enter a transaction in that fiscal year i don't want that also so on a 1st of january i will keep 31st december as a on hold and when 
on 5th of January when I will enter some transactions as of 31st of December I will open that open that fiscal year for entering you the fiscal year should always be open for entering any transaction you can only uh, enter only if the fiscal year is open if it is yeah. closed you can't enter a transaction that closed can be open but closed cannot be open exactly yeah. then voucher number must be filled that, and that is the important one that's why it is strict use fund dimension for i will tell you this uh, at the time of commitment accounting and budgeting use fund dimension for year end transaction use fund dimension to carry forward purchase order purchase order means if any purchase orders are there then we have to see ki uh, what are the purchase orders uh, suppose uh, i am having a purchase order but it is not it invoice so yesterday only i got a purchase order so it is not it invoice so what i will do i will take this purchase orders also in my purchases only yeah so that my balance sheet will not get affected because suddenly on 1st of jan i will do huge purchases that will not be happen then if anyone anybody will ask no in first month only you done so much purchases like this so in last year only we will include this purchase orders also okay. yeah then we'll go in the sales tax sales tax is nothing but i told you ki we have to give this sales tax group Give in which group it is falling, then the calculation date type, which date invoice date, delivery date, document date. Means uh, on the sales tax should be calculated on in uh, invoice date. Means on which date you have to you need to calculate the sales tax because system will not know no ki like on which date it should be calculated. करके that is on the sales order date or uh, invoice date on which date. Okay, so we are giving here. Yeah. Then calculation method. The, in a sales order, you must have seen in a, in one in one sales order there are ten ten items. So those items yeah. in the AX it is called as lines. Yeah. So those lines are there, no? That lines you can. you you can give the sales tax whether you want on a total amount that is the 1000 rupees or you want 20 30 the sales tax on each item so you can you can specify over here then amount include sales tax then apply if any us taxation rule is there then we will say ki apply us taxation rule condition if you want to give any conditions uh, conditional sales tax then all then also you can give then check uh, sales tax group uh, which group it is calling none warning error or tax direction requirement or validate tax code this is related mm -hmm. to the ta any taxes there that is cst vat and all so if anything is required then you can give it over here then in this yeah. uh, tax options whether on a sale you are giving any cash discounts or like this or customer cash discount vendor cash discount payment invoice special report yeah, yeah, yeah. tax options are there then inventory dimensions uh in i last time also i told you no okay, like uh, if i'm having any warehouse in warehouse in which dip, which corner means in which shelf it is uh, my item is lying that, that i will come to know from the inventory dimensions just like financial dimension for the departments inventory dimension is for the uh, items which i am purchasing or selling so where yeah, yeah. i am keeping my items or where my item should go for a sell that i will come to know from the inventory dimensions then yeah. will i just last time i uh, showed you this number sequence also now how to generate this number sequence this is important whenever you create a new company this without a number sequence you can't go forward because number sequence is important no? for each and every uh, journal batch number if you want to give any journal entry number then it should be one unique number so 
for that unique number first of all you have to tell to the system ki like uh, i want uh, journal number from 1 to 10 only or yeah. i want the pn uh, balance sheet number from no, 11 to 20 only so once you will give this system will automatically do its work whenever you do any transactions or you create uh, generate any financial statements like that so if this number sequences are automatically this what it, what i can see is comes when you create a company or you have to create from the scratch are they are these are default no 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 these are not ah. default you have to create it actually ah, okay. it is coming default also but if the company okay. wants it specifically that suppose okay. this it is say, this first first four numbers is your what you you are in general ledger module correct yeah 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 okay okay so it's genie okay general <laughs> so yeah yeah got it got it yeah. so whatever is in your this this module no this number sequence related to yeah. this module the number sequence will be generated here and the the recognition will be so you will come to know that this this journal batch number is from the general ledger module so if you want to change or anything you just have to go right click right just go here right click here go in view details the form will get open and if you want to edit it somehow you can do this what you want okay 